Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Anna. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, hey family, welcome back. I am filming in my, um, well I'm in Jersey y'all, so I'm in my old room. And I was getting ready to do like a full face situation, but I said, you know what? I have to catch a flight tonight and I typically try not to wear makeup on the plane So like we're gonna do a cute little clean fresh face situation um, And this messy bun is just you know, it's just gonna have to work the funniest things have been happening to me Well, not funniest things, but I have been getting a lot of different video ideas while I'm like journaling y'all know when this comes out It's a situation because it's something that God has literally deposited in my heart to share with you guys not that anything else isn't but you know sometimes it's like girl you got to talk about this now so anything else that I had planned it's like it trumps all of that and I'm like okay I need to address what I need to talk about and so I was journaling the other day and God was just like telling me you need to get out of your own way like get out of your own way and I'm like uh what does that even mean and so I started to just really ponder on this thought of getting out your own way and how oftentimes we get in our own way because we're in our own heads right in our own headspace and so this video is really gonna be about that so if you're interested in that sort of topic just continue watching and I really hope it's practical um, there are practical things in this video that you can apply into your life okay so y'all just in case y'all start hearing things in the back background is because I'm in my family's home and like we have a very big family and it'd be a lot of people so therefore just don't mind the noise in the background I was like I said writing and God allowed me to um, come across this verse in Lamentations let's pull out our Bibles <laughs> so here's what it says in Lamentations 3 22 to 24 it says the faithful love of the Lord never ends his mercies never cease great is his faithfulness his mercies begin afresh each morning I say to myself the Lord is my inheritance therefore I will hope in him and that really struck me because one of the first things that allowed me to see about this was that God literally his mercies do not run out every single day so even the moments where I feel like I can't I can't finish something like a job or work or whatever his mercy is really reserved for that day so it does not run out depending on the day that I'm on or the capacity of my own self his mercy continues and even though we run out of patience love and all these other different things he has already designed himself and our lives to be able to literally surpass our own capacity so if you think about the things that we don't have capacity for like let's say giving mercy or whatever to, to your brother or sister or even to yourself he literally has an overwhelming amount of mercies that is reserved just for us and so I started thinking about that and I'm not gonna lie I shed a tear or two because I was just thinking about the anxieties that I was kind of like sitting in and really doing the work to surrender those things and it was just really hard for me to like take my hands off of it and God was like listen I literally do not run out of mercy so I need you to get out of your head and understand that even as massive as this may feel to you right now it is like this compared to the eternity and the things that i have planned for you outside of your head in this moment and so i wanted to um help define mercy because I, I think it's important to even understand what mercy even means right so mercy um i looked it up on google and it says compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm right and so i really just was like stuck on that first part where it says compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone and i think that you know obviously the the verse right the verse relates to god's goodness and mercy toward us and it being new every single day but i think one of the things i always draw back to is the mercy that we extend to other people around us or the or lack thereof right and then also the mercy that we extend to ourselves one of the first points that i want to make is why do we get in our own way 
you know what are the lies that we are believing about ourselves that are just not true and i think that when we understand why we're getting in our own way and understand um those lies that we're not understand but re recognize the lies that we're telling ourselves then we're able to at least address it and come from a place of okay that's why i feel like i'm not getting out of my own way or that's why i'm not extending mercy to myself in that area because i have not fully explored what that even looks like and typically these are the things that don't allow us to be finishers to be doers to be executors and to finish the work that god has literally already equipped us for and so when we address why we get in our own heads at least we can be honest to each other right and about it and have honest conversation about how now we can pivot from there which then kind of leads to okay michelle but like how how do i get out of my own head how does that even work so i have a few points for you as it relates to that you know first we have to recognize that every day is a fresh new start there are new mercies reserved for that day new opportunities it's like a gift it's a gift that you get to unwrap and unravel and so if we start our day in anxiety we have nothing to work for um, work from when it relates as it relates to that day right and so for us we have to then wake up with a new mindset thinking okay this is a new opportunity this is a new day it's a fresh start and guess what there's actually new mercies for today there's new compassion for myself that I can extend to others and I can extend to myself but ultimately that God can extend to us point two as it pertains to how we get out of our heads is to make tasks or goals for your day super Super clear if you are literally just living out your life without any GPS or navigation with your day you're literally kind of like telling God well I don't really care so I'm just gonna live to live and I'm not gonna have any like turning point or no direction as to how I'm gonna get from point A to point B I understand that sometimes for some it's harder to make goals because we don't know what the end goal is or we don't know where we want our lives to go but that's the problem right when we start to get out of our heads we become clear about what our end goal is then you can literally become clear about your task and your daily goals which will then allow you to literally get out of your own way and that's the point that i want to drive home to you guys you have to get out of your way in order to experience destiny and purpose and to fulfill the things that you are called to do specifically my third point on how to get out of your way is literally to not allow emotional baggage or worries from your prior day affect a new day it kind of coincides with the second point but this is literally you commanding your day and you saying i will not allow yesterday's anxieties to bleed into today because yesterday was yesterday and today is a new opportunity a new day and so i leave my sadness from yesterday in yesterday and i leave my anxieties from yesterday in yesterday and guys that's not just an easy thing to do because even though you may say that you still may feel it but it's about snatching that day up and commanding that day for a new opportunity to receive that new mercy and like i said these are all ways to literally start the process of getting out of your own way and why do we want to get out of our own way so that we can literally produce and do the things that we are called to do on this side of heaven and my last point is why confront the why you are in your own way is it something that you need to change is it something that um, you realize you need to change but you just have it is it something that you have to let go of are there just things that you need to rearrange in your lives to be able to make better decisions is it a poor mentality is it a poor living environment confronting the why will then allow you to literally make the steps to get out of your way and get out of your head it's very important to recognize that if you're even your head or not maybe you're not in your head but maybe you know somebody who has so much potential so many things to do and so many ideas but they're not executing they're not doing the work it takes to get from the idea to the work and it's not going to do itself and one of the last points that i want to drive us all home in is that it literally takes one 
one decision, one moment for you to decide, listen, I want to live a better life. I'm so sick and tired of being in my own way. I'm tired of not being able to live the, the life that I know I am worthy to live and to give to others the things that are inside of me. And so it literally takes one one decision, one moment for you to say, I am done being in my own way. There's a difference between somebody else being in your way and you being in your way. You, If you are the one in your way, you literally have the power to rearrange your life, to go and do what you need to do. When somebody else is in your way, those, those are different things that you have to handle. You have to literally maneuver that differently. But when you are in your way, you have the authority and the, and the voice to command yourself to literally come into alignment with what God has for you and the things that you need to do to get out of your own way. And remember, the reason why we want to get out of our own way is so that we can literally be clear-minded and at least set goals for ourselves to be able to do the work that we need to do on this side of heaven time is running out things are listen first of all january felt like five months long february is feeling like five minutes long there are things that we have to do and i want this to serve as a charge for you to confront those things get out of your own head get out of your own way and do the work ideas are great but you have to do the work for those things to be manifested on this side of heaven i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was like kind of short and sweet but it's something that i really want you guys to take in breathe in and live out thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you like and that you subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video